today for the occasion of commissioning of the dormitory uh, uh, that has been built by his, uh, the Honorable Oron uh, for the girls. This is a dormitory. This is a very big achievement because, as you know, the, the, the girls have been actually sleeping in the, in the classrooms on the other side, thus depriving the school of classrooms. And now I'm so proud that uh, Honorable Ron has built this 200 block of dormitory for the girls. It is a very big significant issue, but as you know, most of the girls that are in this school are coming from the high density area around here, Obunga, Nyalenda and all. And the privilege of them to be able to have accommodation so that they can be able to sleep in here. And the fact that we can now have more accommodation for them near the inside the facility where they are going to school means that we are going to have more girls staying in here and therefore there will be less issues of them moving up and down and not, not being, uh, coming to the school. It's critical that we have these dormitories built more and I'm very proud of the MP for Kisumu Central, uh, Dr. Ron, for what he has done because this means that as a leader he's caring about these girls who are very vulnerable because they come from vulnerable homes where they, as you know, these are, are surrounding with the bunga and the slums around here. I think it's a very good gesture and I'm very proud to be the one as the women rep of Kisumu County where these girls belong to my docket that you have done this. Today we are here because we are commissioning, we are commissioning a 200 bedded dormitory. This has been built by national government CDF and it is part of what we promised Kisumu Central when I was campaigning. So it is one of our priorities and we'll continue to do this. This is a very good gesture and it therefore means that this school can now admit many more students. The capacity at the moment is just slightly above 600 but when this dormitory come into use, the school will admit up to 800 students, which is a very good thing for the constituency. This project has costed the constituency, NGCDF, uh, 14 million Kenyan shillings. But in addition to the building, the NGCDF, the Kisumu Central constituency, is also buying a hundred beds that will enable the school to admit students here directly. Uh, therefore, it is a good project and it's not the only project we are doing in the constituency. We are going to commission others in the next few months as we go along. As we are here today, we also know that the Kenyans are struggling, Kenyans are suffering, and in addition to that, there is a strike going on. So today, if you walk into a public hospital, it will be very difficult for you to see a doctor seeing you, and many people will die on the bench. I want to ask the Kenya Kwanzaa government to resolve the strike of the doctors immediately. Rather than wasting the monies on a lot of things, doctors look after the lives of Kenyans and unhealthy country is a very poor country. This should be a priority of Kenya Kwanzaa government. And health is a human right for each and every, everybody. I would want to ask Kenya Kwanzaa government, I would want to ask the Ministry of Health to resolve this issue. The other issue that goes with health is that NHIF is also not paying the private hospital. So in addition to doctors going on strike, in the next six or so days, all private hospitals will also refuse to see NHIF patients. I would also want to encourage the government to ensure that NHIF, before we move to SHA, is running properly so that private hospitals are paid and paid in good time to enable them to see patients. They cannot continue seeing patients without them being paid. And